Hey there everyone, Chris Mack here. And today being Christmas Day, I wanna wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And in addition to that, I also want to let everyone know this will be my last philosophical talk for a while. Next week being January 1st, I will be doing my uh, 2023 EDC video and everything that has changed because law has. So yeah, that way you know. Um, <laughs> With that being said, though, with today being Christmas, I do want to say a few things regarding Christmas and then coming into the new year and some stuff like that. So first, I want to talk about the fact that while today we're, we're all thinking about Christmas trees and presents and Santa and all that good jazz, that that is not the true meaning behind Christmas. And the true meaning behind Christmas is Jesus and the Christmas story of Christ's birth and ultimately then him dying on the cross for our sins. Now, this is not meant to be a religious beat everyone over the head with a Bible kind of a talk, but I do want to bring up a couple of points here. And my favorite comedian back in the day, whenever I was younger, and even now, a uh, Christian comedian is Mark Lowry. He used to be part of the Gaither Vocal Band, and if either of those names uh, you know, then you're old too. And uh, concerning those, uh, one of my favorite bits that Mark Lowry does is actually the first part of the Christmas story. It is um, Luke 2, verse 1. And he just uses for the bit the first part of the verse, but it's the verse saying that there was the decree that uh, everyone was to be taxed, and this is why Mary and Joseph were on their way um, in, in their travels and why they were in uh, Bethlehem to begin with and everything like that. But the beginning of that verse is, "...and it came to pass." And I'll have his whole bit down below in the description. I'll have a link for that comedy bit in particular. But, um, and it's towards the end of it, but watch the whole thing. It's like eight minutes. It's absolutely hilarious, and you'll enjoy the laugh. But he talks about, and it came to pass. And I think that's something really important to keep in mind because this Christmas has been good for a lot of us, and for some of us it hasn't been so good. We're dealing with things like inflation. We've been dealing with a really cold snap uh, that's been going on across the country and horrific weather. And I just want to kind of put some things in perspective based on that comedy bit that he does. And what he says, whenever he's saying that it came to pass, he's talking about the good things and the bad things in life, that it came to pass. It didn't come to stay. And I think that's really important for a lot of us to keep in mind, especially if we've been going through some hard times. My wife and I have had a really long, not just year, probably about the last uh, uh, 15 months or so. And we've been dealing with a lot to include some grief and some loss. And we're now looking at some things coming up here in the next couple of months that are going to be changing that as well. And I think we need to keep in mind that the hard times did not come to stay. They came to pass. And something that kind of puts that into perspective that I think everyone can kind of get on board with here, especially this week, is uh, this week I did a short here a couple of days ago where I said that it was negative 20 degrees and we had wind chills of negative 60 degrees. And it was really cold outside. We couldn't even uh, let our cars sit outside for too long. Otherwise, they really did not want to function. I mean, they would, but they, they were not happy about it. You could hear um, the oil was definitely cold and the thick. Um, power steering and everything was uh, not easy to drive. So it got to the point where we had to drive each other to work. So that way we could have cars parked in the garage. So that way they were warm enough to function rather than leaving them parked outside during our shift and things like that. So we went from extremely cold weather of those negative 20s and negative 60s to here just yesterday doing some last minute things before Christmas. It was a whopping 35 degrees outside, and I'm driving around town with the windows in my truck down, the music up, just enjoying Christmas, and it's like, okay, I went from bundled up in scarves and thick coats and long thermal underwear and boots with extra thick socks and having to buy new winter gloves and everything like that because it was negative 20, negative 30, and with wind chills negative 60, and now it's only 35 degrees, just above freezing, and I'm driving around like this, vest, long sleeve shirt, windows down, music going, enjoying Christmas. And for a lot of people um, who maybe live in the south or live in warmer areas and things like that, they're like, 35 degrees, oh my gosh, I think it's cold when it hits 50. And it's a matter of perspective is what I'm trying to get at here is that 
sometimes God gives us the hard times so that way when the good times come, we can appreciate them more. And I think that's the overall point that I'm trying to get into with this talk that I'm having right now is that we need the tough times so that way we enjoy the good times. And to go a little bit farther into that, there is uh, a saying that I know folks have been familiar with over the last couple of years of that tough times make tough men, tough men make uh, for easy times, easy times make for weak men, and weak men make tough times. And it's kind of that cycle that goes back and forth, back and forth. And I think if we look at our country today, that we can tell that between inflation and um, things that have been going on the last couple of months just politically, and this is not meant to be political. Um, to be quite honest, let's make this very simple. If you haven't figured out by now that the government wants us to argue between left and right, so that way we don't turn this into citizen versus government and go all 1776 on there, but if you haven't figured it out by now that that's the actual true case, then I can't help you anymore. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. That's all the political I'm going to get. But regardless of politics, but the politics, the way of the world today, the way that how me even getting on this platform right now and saying, yes, I'm a Christian. I'm sure I'm going to catch a lot of hate and maybe even get canceled over that stuff. So you know what? I'm tired of apologizing for who I am. And there we go. That's all I'm going to say. But we we can look at society now and I think we can definitely agree that in years past that we've had it fairly easy. And I think those easy times are starting to create weak men in a weak society overall. And we can see that with the inflation. We can see that with the people who are living in a victim culture of you wronged me, I deserve this. And it comes back to that everyone got a participation trophy and didn't realize that if you actually want something, you have to work for it. So... I see tough times ahead, and I'm not trying to say that to be a downer. I'm just trying to say that sometimes we need those tough times so we can appreciate the good times, and we need to appreciate where we are in that cycle. Because like I said, my wife and I, we've been on the, the down end of that cycle for the last year, last 15 months or so, and there is a, there is a horizon coming, and we can see that things are going to be getting better for us here in the next couple of months. And perspective is important. So if you're in the middle of freezing right now, then just know that the horizon is ahead and things could get better and things are going to get better because it came to pass, the good times and the bad. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful Christmas. I hope whether you're in good times or bad, you're enjoying the good or realizing that the bad will help the good times be even better. But regardless, have a very Merry Christmas. I wish you and your family well. And as always, it's Chris Mack.